Hey everybody, it's Rob here, and welcome back to another severe weather update. I apologize for the slight hiatus from YouTube, but I'm back, and we're back with uh, some more severe weather. As you can see, we've got another major system that's going to be coming through the central plains into parts of the Midwest here. Moving on into next week. Um, looks like we have the potential for seeing uh, maybe even an outbreak, a severe weather outbreak across multiple states here in the plains and into the Midwest. So I'm going to keep all of you guys updated and uh, let's go ahead and check out the uh, storm prediction centers day four through eight risk. So this is the storm prediction centers extended risk. This is um, this is what they issue. They have a, um, a day three, a day two, you know, where they out they have specific locational outlooks but here we have the four through eight where they just have general outlooks and we can see day four five and six we have a pretty large 15 percent risk areas here and it's pretty much the same area all three days this is going to be um really a, a, a crazy week and it'll be uh it'll be absolutely insane to see what the models start bringing us once we get into the little bit shorter term um and you can see here, day four, Monday, um, we're going to go ahead and talk about, um, let's go ahead and see, um, some threat for tornadoes should also exist. So this is for day four, Monday, then day five, Tuesday, yet again, um, this will likely be a much more extensive uh, severe weather event and you can see supercells capable of producing large hail damaging winds and tornadoes through Tuesday evening and then if we go into Wednesday of next week day six Wednesday again you can see down here um, an organized severe threat including the potential for tornadoes may continue Wednesday evening and night um, yeah it's just uh, Oh, this is going to be a busy, busy week for severe weather, and uh, I'm all for it. We're in spring. Um, this is, this is just. We are in a very, very active pattern right now. If you guys didn't know, um, if you remember, I made a video a while back talking about our long-range forecast that um, March was likely going to be very active. Then April was going to be active in the earlier weeks, and then cool down, and then May would likely be below average. But it looks like our La Nina pattern is actually holding through and is going to maintain all the way into the tropical season. So it looks like we will have an active severe weather pattern all the way through May, all the way through the summer possibly even. So this could um, spell potentially a historic a rather large amount of, uh, of severe weather outbreaks. Um, but here we see this weekend is when we start to get that uh, that trough deepening down here uh, through California down into Mexico um, and on Tuesday it starts to make its way in um, and that's where we start to spark some of this uh, severe weather here on Monday and Tuesday but Wednesday is the key right now we're gonna move this over Wednesday is the key right now that we are looking at for potentially a severe weather outbreak as we have uh, this very strong bowling ball trough ejection now this is the euro we're using the euro model because the gfs model is really struggling with this trough um the euro model seems to be much closer to our ensemble so it looks like this is a much more likely solution but this thing turns uh, neutrally or negatively tilted we have very strong shear here it moves off uh, to the northeast and likely will be causing severe weather here on thursday as well as this system will move off and still maintain amplitude here into the midwest so um this is our system that's going to be causing this severe weather monday tuesday wednesday thursday of next week a potential for a severe weather outbreak on uh, all three of those days and this is just going to be absolutely very very crazy one thing we'll go ahead and look at is our dew points this will show us if we have that warm moist atmosphere present and we can see on monday we have a, a modest warm sector with probably some modest destabilization the severe weather should be relatively limited on monday but tuesday is where the extent will increase 
um, you can see there's a much larger warm sector here, a potential for much uh, wider area of severe weather. And then as we move into Wednesday, this is when things start to get a little bit more serious. You can see a very stout dry line cutting right through the plains here all the way up into Iowa, even 60s dew points stretching as far north as Minnesota in April. We've got 60s dew points in uh, Wisconsin, uh, Michigan, all the way up here into Pennsylvania, even in New York a little bit. So this is our very potent system now, and uh, there will likely be a severe weather outbreak. Uh, even the potential for a tornado outbreak is already looking likely on some of the models that we're seeing so uh, we'll have to keep an eye on that and then as we move um, into Thursday you can see we still have those 60s dew points here in the Midwest there likely will be the chance for some organized severe weather all the way um, all the way from the coast all the way up north into this northern mode um, more of like a, a pseudo uh, cold core event um, but I mean you're still gonna have 60s dew points so it will be Plenty enough for organized severe weather. So, and then that will be it for a little while. Um, severe weather will then calm down for a couple days, and then our pattern looks to just continue all over again. And man, this is going to be very, very active. Um, April looks like it's going to have multiple rounds of severe weather, similar to what we had in March, where um, the deep south just got system after system after system of severe weather. And I think there's a very good chance that uh, that pattern continues. I don't see anything stopping that from continuing all the way through into May. So um, if you want severe weather and uh, winter weather updates like this update right here, then I recommend subscribing. It's completely free. And I try to update you guys as often as possible. I'm going to try to get back to uploading daily. Try to really get back on that grind. Make sure you guys are, uh, are really aware of all things going on. I'm going to be live streaming severe weather covering severe weather to my best extent so thank you all for watching thank you all for uh us breaking 250 subscribers really means a lot and uh i hope you all stay safe peace out